we have a thing called as a type casting in type casting what we do is we convert one data type to another data type so for that what we have is we have two two methods first one is implicit type conversion second one is explicit type conversion first let me share the screen to you people type casting in type casting what we do is we convert one data type to another data type we convert one data type to another data type so that can be done using two methods first one is implicit type casting second one is explicit type casting see here go through this one the process of converting the data type data from one data type to another data type is called as type conversion or type casting the process of converting from one data type to another data type is called as type casting or type conversion there are two methods first one is implicit type casting second one is uh, explicit type casting there is a difference between implicit type casting and the explicit type casting guys so in implicit type casting what happens is if and only if the data types of two operands are same it should be int and int it should be int and uh, it should be float and float or it should be character and character so if the operands are of uh, different type it is not possible to evaluate the expression go through this one guys what implicit type conversion is going to tell is not really what implicit type conversion is going to tell is what implicit what actually the compiler c compiler is going to do is it is going to compile the program if the data types are of same type if the data types are of same type see here if the data types are of same type is the screen visible guys someone reply yes sir see here if the data types are of same type int a int b int c c is equal to a plus b the c can work on this one but if it is like int a float b and float c float c so it cannot work c is equal to a plus b this won't work guys because if you see the operands are of different data types see here in this one all the operands are of integer only here it is not the case it is uh, let me take this as double instead of float c i can take double double guys according to you people according to your knowledge will the first uh, piece of code execute or the second piece of code execute or will both execute
according to you people will the first piece of code execute or the second piece of code execute or will both execute let's respond which is correct first or second first one sir others girls others so what happens is we need mechanisms guys we need mechanisms to convert the data type from one data type to the other data type for that we have a thing called as type conversion we have the thing called as type conversion see here c can evaluate the expression if and only if the data type of the two operands are same Um, shall I close this one? See here, C can evaluate the expression if and only if the data types of two operands are same. If the operands are of different types, like if it is. other than the same data type what happens is it is not possible to evaluate the expression in such situations to ensure that the both operands are of same type c compiler converts the data from lower rank to the higher rank automatically so this is called as the uh, implicit type conversion which the c compiler converts so in explicit type conversion what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to do it manually we shall soon see that one now let us see the hierarchy of data types guys here hierarchy is as follows first it is int character next short next uh, integer next long integer next long integer next on side long integer next it will be float next it will be double int character is having the lowest priority or the lowest rank double is having the highest rank see here int character is having lower data rank data type so this is having higher rank data type so hierarchy is like this int short int long int unsigned long int float double mm -hmm. guys you'll not really don't get confused so the data type will be converted from lower rank to higher rank automatically the data type will be converted to lower rank and higher rank automatically guys see here they have given the syntax also if it is int and int it will be int only if it is float and float it will be float only if one data type is of int and the other data type is of float i will make you to understand better both see ananisha i will make some changes
ಸರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಿ ಸರ್ ಹೇಳಪ್ಪ ಹೇಳಪ್ಪ ಸಮ್ಮಾನ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಾಗ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಟೀಮ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ Okay guys he is a screen usable guys is a screen yes sir yes, see guys what happens is i think you people will understand better now see here if the data type is of int a int a int b int c ಅಥವಾ ಇಂಟ್ ಎ ಕಮ ಬಿ ಕಮ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಫೈನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಂಟ್ ಎ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಸಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಇಯರ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಗಾಯ್ಸ್ ದ operands are of different data types different data types so here what happens is the c compiler what it is going to do is it is going to convert automatically automatically the lower rank data types to upper if there is a mixture in this case in the case one what happens is automatically the compiler is going to convert the data type of the lower rank to the higher rank here it won't be done guys because every data type is of uh, every operand is of same data type right so here type conversion is not required not required so here it is required so here what happens is the data types which are in the lower rank it will be converted to the upper ranks automatically at the time of compilation see so here from year to year it will be automatically converted year to year it will be automatically converted year to year it will be automatically converted so to the upper ranks it will be automatically converted guys so this is nothing but your type conversion in type conversion there are two types first one is implicit type conversion second one is explicit type conversion in implicit type conversion what apples is the compiler automatically it will do the compiler automatically it will do the compiler will automatically it will do let me take an example let me take an example from the notes Okay, see here. Let us take the example which has been given here. 
see here guys see here there is no problem if it is if the expression is of this kind because the data types are same even here also there is no problem because the data types are same here also here that is int and int here it is float and float in these two cases there is no problem guys but if one data type is of int and the other data type is a float okay then what happens is here one minute i'll explain martin see here if one data type is of int ni veli ivaga you people tell me so here what happens is the data types from the lower rank it will be converted to the upper ranks automatically so if one data type is of int a float b float b now the result will be in int or float int or float answer to this question here the compiler is going to automatically the convert the data types it's not we we are going to do now in the implicit data type conversion what happens is the data types from the lower rank it will be converted into automatically upper rank now what will be the result int a float b c will be integer or float result will be int or float float sir others ellaru helru pa float sir others here okay see guys go through this one examples are i will show uh, see here if it is 5 on 3.5 it will be converted to float because compared to int and float float is having the higher <coughs> rank Okay, is this clear? Implicit type conversion. Reply IC if it is clear. Reply IC if it is clear. Everyone, if you are okay, I will revise this topic once again in the Saturday hour. Let's see what is implicit type conversion and what is explicit type conversion in the Saturday hour. I thought of completing today, but. Uh, as we were slow we couldn't do that one <clears throat> no problem you can do aram se ಮಚ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ don't worry much about this one so this we shall see once again in the saturday class saturday class we shall take another examples and we shall see this one so now as of now guys afternoon don't get tension or panic or anything it is not examination 